In this video, we're going to explore IPCS and IPCRM, which are Linux utilities um, that allow us to deal with inter-process communication pieces a little more easily. Um, to start with, we're going to look at um, IPCS, which will list all of the inter-process communication stuffs uh, associated with 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 your your user, your system. Um, so what I'm going to start off with is I'm going to create a piece of shared memory using a sham create program. Um, if you'd like to learn more about the options of IPCS, then you can always man it. But largely, we're just going to run IPCS without any options. And what that will do is list everything. Um, it will list any shared memory segments you have, any semaphores or message queues that you might have. So you can see here that when, after I ran shim create, my shim create program didn't delete this piece of shared memory. And so there's a piece of shared memory left. There is a key value associated with it. It's given in hex. There's a shared memory ID here, which you can use later. It tells you who owns the piece of shared memory and what its permissions are, how big it is, how many processes are attached to it. Um, so it gives you kind of this full list of information. So what can we do with this? Um, well, if you would like to connect to this piece of shared memory, you now have a shim ID and a key in which you can do that. Um, if you would like to uh, delete it, you now have uh, the ability to do that. Um, my program, uh, the shim create program, actually has the ability to attach to it and change some values. And you can see here that if I put that program into the background, that in attach changes to 1. But as soon as it closes, in attach changes back to 0. In any case, if you would like to remove this piece of shared memory, you can call IPCRM. I did a man page here, but my screen capture didn't really like it. And so you <laughs> get to see the whole man page. But if you'd like to, um, you can always go and man that on your own. Um, I've, linked, I've linked to it, I believe, on my web page. So you can go look at that. In any case, we can delete using the shem ID if we'd like. Um, so you can see here, I'm typing IPCRM, followed by the shem ID, and suddenly it's gone. If I create it again, there it is again. But if I'd like, I can actually remove it using the key. But in this case, I use the flag dash capital M, followed by the key that I would like to remove. So if I type IPCS, Again, you can see that it is gone. So you can delete things using the key, using IPCRM with dash capital M, or you can delete things using the shared memory ID using IPCRM dash lowercase m as the argument. Um, one bad thing to do is to actually man IPC. If you man IPC, you're not going to get a lot of information about IPCS or IPCRM or even the shared memory stuff that you're probably going to use related to those. So don't man IPC and expect to get something useful. You got to use IPCS or IPCRM. All right, good luck, folks.